The film opens with a culinary entrepreneur named Frankie, who goes to an illegal underground fight in order to find a fighter for him to become his employee. There Frankie finds an undefeated fighter named Carter. However something strange happens, where a man in a jacket, suddenly enters the arena and prepares himself to fight Carter. Initially Carter and all the audience bully the man. When he opened his jacket, he was terrified. It turned out that this man is a former UFC middleweight fighter, named Dalton. Knowing that he would lose, Carter decided to leave and let Dalton win. After getting the bet money, Dalton walked away to his car. But at that very moment a thug stabs Dalton in the stomach and asks Dalton to pay the debt immediately. However, when the thug saw Dalton's face, which began to get angry, he gave up his intention and preferred to leave rather than die at the hands of Dalton. When Dalton is about to treat his wounds, he is visited by Frankie who offers him a job as a guard or a bouncer at his place of business. It's in the roadhouse, because every night his place of business there is always a commotion. Frankie then promised Delton a salary of 80 million per week. The risk to Delton. Unfortunately Delton refused, because he wanted to open a telephone business. Despite the refusal, Frankie still gave him the address of his place of business. Who knows Delton changed his mind. After treating his wounds Delton slept in the car. Apparently Delton lives as a bum due to his past. Delton was later woken by a policewoman who asked him not to sleep on the side of the road. As he drives he begins to experience depression about his past. He then committed suicide by being hit by a car. But when Delton thought that maybe working at Roadhouse would change his life, he gave up and almost died when he was hit by a train. In the morning Dalton headed to Frankie's place located in Florida or precisely in the district of Glasgow. Delton was then dropped off at one of the bus stops, where he meets a girl named Cher who owns a bookstore with her father named Stepan. Cher then gives Delton a book about the town of Glasky, and tell me that Frankie's Roadhouse is not far from here. Delton then walked to Roadhouse. Arriving there, Delton felt comfortable and revealed to the employees that this place is very cool and peaceful. But as soon as night fell, the bar was already full of people. There began to be a commotion caused by drunken visitors. One of the employees named Billy then began to separate the troublemakers. Meanwhile, Delton is still watching with a full smile. At that time also motorcycle gang led by Dell, come to the bar. Their Dell started making trouble and making the visitors scared, because according to the story, they are the most powerful gang in this place. Seeing Dell acting outrageous, Delton intervened and warned Dell not to do trouble. Because Dell refused, Delton walked out of the bar and pretended to be going to break their bike. So the gang comes out to stop Delton. And this is where Delton starts beating up the gang with his martial arts skills. Within seconds Delton managed to make the gang members unconscious including suffering a concussion from being hit by Delton. Although Delton beat the troublemakers but he wanted to take responsibility. Delton then takes the gang to the hospital in Frankie's car. At the hospital Delton meets a nurse named Eli, which is to say thank you for making the thugs battered. Eli then accidentally sees a puncture scar on Delton's stomach, and took him inside to be treated. After treatment, Delton returned to the roadhouse. There Delton gets salary money from Frankie and thanks after beating the thugs. Because it was late at night, Frankie advised Delton to sleep at a nearby hotel. But Delton refuses and instead wants to sleep on Frankie's old boat located on a nearby pier. Frankie also allows Delton to sleep there. But he warns Delton about crocodiles that often attack visitors to the pier. While Delton was cleaning the old ship, he met the head of the dock. Who was in distress because he lost his dog due to being torn to pieces by crocodiles. When Delton falls asleep he dreams about the mass of his past that made him what he is today. In the past, Delton had a fight with one of the UFC fighters who was also a friend of Delton. But the two had a big fight. In the fight Delton initially almost lost. But he intended and beat back his opponent so brutally that his opponent was killed on the spot. That's why Delton chose to retire and live as a bum. Delton is then awakened by one of Frankie's employees named Laura. He deliberately came here to say thank you for teaching Del. In return, Laura gave Delton breakfast. After breakfast, Delton stopped by Charlie's bookstore. To borrow his laptop. 
Charlie accidentally sees Dell's men running amok in the store next door. He kicked them out with a baseball bat. But of course they weren't afraid until they finally saw Delton and ran away. Delton and Charlie then talk a little about their life problems. Where Charlie reveals his mother is dead and his father has to work on the side to make ends meet. Because to eat alone is not enough if you only rely on the bookstore business. The two Dell men then went to a small yacht in the middle of the sea. To meet his boss named Ben. They reported on the failure of their plan to take control of the roadhouse. Because now Ruad House has a bouncer who is able to defeat them. Hearing this, Ben didn't want to know and asked them to get rid of the bouncer or Delton, by killing him. Meanwhile Delton spends his day teaching Billy how to fight troublemakers. The way given by Delton was able to secure one of the visitors carrying a knife. In addition to being friends with Billy, Delton is also friends with one of Frankie's employees named Ref. One day Delton accidentally meets Eli at a restaurant. The two chatted a bit about this city that is full of crime and even the police can't fight it. Eli warns Delton to be careful while staying here. In the evening, Dalton went to Frankie to ask for one week's salary. After getting the salary Delton returned home to the pier on foot, but in the middle of the road suddenly a car driven by an unknown person tried to hit Dalton. Delton fell into the sea with his car. The driver fled. Long story short, when Delton arrived at the old ship, he was surprised by Del who was ready to kill Delton with a rifle. But Delton remained calm and provoked Del to want to talk. And when Del raised his gun, Delton immediately kicked Del. Then beat him until he fell into the sea. Even though Del was about to kill him, Delton was still willing to forgive Del. Unfortunately when Delton was about to pull Del, a crocodile suddenly pounced on Del and dragged him into the water. The next day, Delton was questioned by the police and found not guilty of Dell's death. But the police did not find Dell's body because the crocodiles here are always hiding their prey in nests unknown to humans. The next day, Ben and his men discuss their plans to evict Roadhouse and build an entertainment building. At that time, Ben got a call from his father named Gerald, who is a Florida Mafia boss who is currently in jail. But Ben refuses to pick up the phone and instead throws it into the sea. Because Ben won't pick up the phone, Gerald calls his former right-hand man who just got out of prison named Knox. His pompous style disgusted everyone. But of course they can't fight Knox who is a street psychopath. Knox gets an offer to remove Delton. The next day, Delton is taken out to sea by Eli, who has just borrowed his ex-girlfriend's luxury boat. Arriving in the middle of the sea, Delton thought that Eli was going to look for fish. But it turns out that Delton deliberately invited here just to take pictures. Somewhere else Knox just stole someone else's car, and went to his base first. There he met Ben's men who were relaxing. Shortly thereafter, Ben arrives at the base and finds Knox has just beaten up all his men. Knox then reveals that he was asked by Ben's father, to get rid of the roadhouse bouncer. Knox also reveals that Ben's father is furious, because Ben always failed to continue his father's business. On the other hand Ben's men go to Charlie's bookstore and will deliberately set it on fire to threaten Delton. Elsewhere, after playing with Eli, Delton returns to the old ship. But just arrived there he was immediately visited by two policemen who asked him to come to the police station. But instead of going to the office, they took Delton to a used boat. Delton is confronted by a Florida police chief named Dickie, who asked Delton to leave the city immediately. Of course, Dickie's words confused Delton. He asked Dickie to explain what was wrong, but Dickie won't answer and will kill Delton instead. At that moment Eli came to stop Dickie. Dickie is Eli's father. Eli then immediately took Delton away. On the way, Eli tells her that her father works for Gerald or Ben's father. The people of this city also already know that Gerald is the most powerful mafia boss. Even though he's in jail, he can still hire cops to fight people who interfere with his plans, including Delton. Eli then advises Delton to quickly leave this place before he is killed. But in the evening Delton instead returns to the roadhouse to find out what really happened. There Delton meets Ben who reminds Delton not to interfere in his affairs. But Delton refused and chose to stay here. Because Delton did not want to comply with his request, Ben told Kmox to beat Delton. Knox then began making noise by breaking bottles and punching people. 
The mess made by Nock upset the other visitors. And then there was a bar fight. This led Delton to intervene and begin to fight with Knox. Get these clubs. In the fight, Delton was overwhelmed because it turned out that Nock's punches were harder. Realizing his opponent was brutal, Delton chose to leave just as Eli and the police arrived. Delton then cleans his body of blood, after that he intended to leave the city. But then Frankie came along. Frankie finally reveals that the reason he still maintains the roadhouse, because this place is a legacy of his family. However, Delton doesn't care because he feels he is being forced by Frankie to fight the mafia. When Delton went to the bus pickup point, he accidentally sees Charlie's bookstore already on fire. Charlie and his father are in the hospital with bruises from being hit by an unknown man. Hearing this, Delton became very angry. He finally decides not to go and will fight the thugs alone. Delton then finds Ben's men, who are cleaning the table. Without further ado Delton directly hit the neck bones of children Nua Ben, which resulted in him falling into the pool, and then drowned. As Delton hauled his body into the car, he met one of Del's men, who immediately asked for mercy from Delton, so that Delton would not be angry. He wants to tell Delton that at 5 am this morning Dickie and Ben are going to do a deal on the beach. Long story short, Exactly at 5 a.m. Delton was standby on the beach to monitor the transaction. When one of the policemen was about to load a large suitcase onto the ship, Delton immediately prevents this, and opens the suitcase which turns out to contain money from drug sales, which was brought by Ben and Dickie. After Delton hid the money, he shot, and then beat the policeman. Right over there. It was noon when Delton was making bombs on an old ship. He is approached by Dickie who tells him that Ben has kidnapped Eli. He also asks Delton to hand over the money he hid to Ben, so that it can be exchanged for Eli. Knowing this, Delton borrows Eli's ex-girlfriend's boat, and goes to Ben's yacht. Arriving there, Delton begins to make small talk about Eli being kidnapped. But Dickie reveals that Eli was never kidnapped. This is all Dick is doing to get Delton to come. But who would have thought it turns out Ben did kidnap Eli and it makes Dickie very angry. When they see that Nock is about to come here, Delton immediately blows up the ship. The explosion makes the ship leak, so Delton decides to go into the ship's cabin to save Eli. But when the two met, the glass barrier suddenly broke and made the two swim to the sea. This is where Ben drags Eii to the jet boat, then take him away. Meanwhile, Nox tried to kill Delton by crashing his boat but Delton dodged and instead managed to take over Knox's boat. Seeing that Delton is still alive, Ben then tries to crash his ship into Delton's boat but Delton jumps first and falls into Ben's boat. When the ship was about to hit the coast barrier, Delton and Eli jump first. Ben was on the roof. Meanwhile Knox swims to the jetty and stops one of the cars to go to the roadhouse. There Delton began to approach Ben and brutally beat him. Then suddenly they are run over by Knox, using a car. And from here the fight between Delton against Knox took place. In that fight, the two took out all of their respective martial techniques. Delton also used Khabib Nurmagedov's lockdown to defeat Knox. But because Delton was not Khabib, Knox was able to break free and counterattack Delton with a pointed wood. Seeing Delton helpless, Ben asks Knox to kill him, but Knox is fed up with Ben, and even killed him. Knox then proceeded to attack Delton with a pointed stick. But Tapi Delton, Delton was able to contain him and turn things around by counterattacking Knox using wood, leaving Knox dead on the spot. After killing Knox, Dickie and Eli ask Delton to leave town, because if he stays, Delton will be in jail. While Delton is waiting for the bus, he is approached by Charlie, who is now recovering. He thanked Delton for defeating the thugs. Stephen goes into the store and accidentally finds a suitcase full of money. It turns out that Delton deliberately hid the money in Charlie's store, so that Charlie can rebuild her shop with the money. Delton then left the town of Glasky. Delton's departure makes Frankie sad. 
but he feels relieved and calm because now the mobsters who interfere with his business have been successfully secured by Delton. The film ends with Knox, who turned out to be alive, after hospitalization, and now he's going to make a mess again.